What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now today's video is going to be unscripted, but um, that's mainly just because I want this to be more of a discussion. I had this thought uh, while I was streaming the other day, and it's about how Kingdra and Politoed are such a phenomenal combination that we've seen in a lot of previous formats, but they don't quite get as much love as they used to even though they're pretty valuable in a lot of different situations they're probably some of the most valuable pokemon that you could throw onto a four pokemon team in the current format so yeah uh, i want to talk about that i want to get my thoughts out in the video for you guys to respond to and talk about uh and just give me your opinions on but before we get into that if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time do me a favor leave a like on it subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because i bring you daily pokemon vgc content and that's my comment question of the day what is your favorite weather mode to put onto a team whether it's sun rain if you're a weirdo and you're still using sand or hail in a restricted format let me know so yeah first we should talk about kingdra and politoed individually and then what they do together so kingdra is a very powerful swift swin pokemon with phenomenal stats across the board it's only it's got 95 and like everything except for two stats where it's got 85 in speed and 75 in hp um it's a water and dragon type meaning it only has two weaknesses being dragon and fairy uh, it has phenomenal stab because water is an amazing offensive stab along with dragon. Um, it has the ability Swift Swim, which allows it to double its speed inside of rain, and it just tends to spam very powerful moves with a life orb. Politoed is the perfect partner for it. It is a pure water type. Uh, it tends to run the ability Drizzle next to this Pokemon because it allows it to set up the rain, which will grant Kingdra double speed. And it also has an access to a wide variety of super powerful support moves, being Haze to clear away stats, Scald to spread burn, and deal decent damage despite not needing to invest into that base 90 special attack since the rain is up. It's got Helping Hand to boost the damage of other moves. It also has access to just a bunch of other really cool moves. It's got Icy Wind. It even has Hypnosis if you want to be that guy. Um, I'm not typically that guy. You could even run Encore. Encore is a great move. Uh, Parish Song is another one. It has so many different moves you could be running. But, you know, I think you get the most out of it uh, with Helping Hand. So, Kingdra and Politoed. They're really powerful. We saw a lot of them, uh, at least in Sword and Shield, starting in Series 5, uh, since that was when the uh, Isle of Armor DLC came out, releasing both of these guys into the game. And they were pretty dominant in Series 5. Like, we would see a lot of rain teams early on, and I personally ran one for the longest time. Uh, they were very good, and in the current format, they've sort of fallen off. A lot of We haven't seen a lot of Kingdra Politoed, despite it being, in my opinion really really good and i have some theories as to why that is i think mainly people see kingdra and polytoed as being in competition with like kyogre tornadus which i personally don't think they are i think that kyogre and tornadus don't want kingdra or polytoed on their team you could possibly get away with kingdra on your kyogre team but more likely than not uh you're gonna be running this thing with like zarina regioleki uh incineroar and maybe even like you could go with like double grass type. You could go with like an Amoongus or a Ferrothorn. You have a pretty well-rounded team. So while Kyogre Tornadus is like the premier version of rain right now, uh, that's like on a team where you're going to have rain up 100% of the time. In my opinion, where Kingdra and Politoed thrive is as uh, a non-restricted secondary mode for many slower teams and many teams that just generally don't like the sun matchup. What am I talking about with this? Well, from my experience, I found that typically Steel types or slower Pokemon, Trick Room Pokemon, tend to want a faster mode, uh, or at least a Rain mode. So, Zacian Crowned, I've actually faced a couple of Zacian Crowned teams that will fit a Politoed Kingdra onto them, mainly because it is just like another mode. Typically, you can run Zacian Crowned with like uh, Incineroar, Rillaboom, Regieleki, uh, and itself, and those are like four Pokemon. And then you can throw on... Kingdra as your water type and Politoed as just like a Swift Swim user as just a secondary thing. Or you could even just leave the Politoed um, on the team and, you know, not use the Kingdra because the rain helps you out defensively versus Kyogre, not Kyogre teams, uh, versus Groudon teams uh, and other sun modes, like if you're facing Calyrex Ice with the Torkoal on it. So that's very helpful, just defensively. Uh, the Steel types gain a lot from that rain. And I've especially found a lot of success in a recent um, team using rain on a Dustmane Necrozma team. Now, the reason it's been so useful is because Dustmane Necrozma is a very slow Pokemon. Like 77 speed for a restricted is really slow and the team itself wants to be under Trick Room most of the time. However, it really doesn't like the presence of Incineroar and Landorus, which a lot of teams arguably don't like that presence either. Zacian teams, other Steel types, they hate both Incineroar and Landorus. 
The reason being, Incineroar and Landris have some of the greatest um, utility to them, whether it just be the sheer coverage and damage output that Landris can provide, or Incineroar being able to switch in and out in the field with Fake Out, Parting Shot, U-Turn, Snarl, all of those very annoying support moves. Basically, you have an option that just bodies that lead. With uh, Kingdra Politoed, you could, you know, recognizing that you have a Trick Room mode, or at the very least, um, a Steel type like the Zacian on your team, like if the opponent wants to predict you to lead off like Zacian and Cinderor, what you can do is you can counterpick them, assuming that they're going to lead off with something like Landris plus a fake out user, whether it be Rillaboom or Incineroar, and you can just go ahead and go with that rain lead. Now that rain lead is really, really annoying for them because defensively it leaves them in sort of a pin. Uh, nothing enjoys taking a helping handed muddy water from Life Orb Kingdra in the rain. And if your opponent leads off with Incineroar Landorus or Incineroar anything, anything that doesn't want to eat the hit, um, you're actually in such a good opportunity to just start clicking buttons. You can protect on the fake out turn and then you can just start clicking Muddy Water plus Helping Hand. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, versus Incineroar Landorus, you can easily one shot those two. That's like a given with this thing. However, the general damage output of Kingdra is through the roof. Let me go ahead and go through a couple of common Pokemon you're going to face. First off, Regieleki. We're actually naturally faster than Regieleki. Regieleki hits a max speed of 277 as long as you're not Choice Scarf. Where Kingdra at plus two, aka double, uh, is going to be hitting 300, which will naturally, you know, allow you to outspeed it. Unfortunately, you can't run Modest and still outspeed uh, because you're going to be just a bit under the threshold. Um, so you do have to run Timid, which does decrease your damage output a bit, but you'll see with like Helping Hand and Life Orb and such, uh, you're still doing a lot of damage. That Regieleki, which is typically a really problematic uh, lead for a lot of Pokemon, um, you're actually going to see right here, Picolytic set, you're one-shotting it without the Helping Hand. Just in the rain, a Muddy Water is a clean one-shot. And a lot of Regieleki are opting to drop the Focus Sash right now in exchange for a Magnet. As you can see, uh, while most of them are still Focus Sash, that can obviously be broken pretty easily in a game with Fake Out or whatever, uh, a good 20% are running Magnet right now. And if you can identify like, oh yeah, there's a Whimsicott in the other team that probably has the Focus Sash, or there's a Tornadus in the other team that probably has the Focus Sash. Um, if you can identify a Magnet Regieleki on preview, you're in a really good spot just to start clicking buttons. Zacian itself doesn't even like taking this hit. The most powerful Pokemon in the metagame, arguably, Muddy Water just you know, a neutral hit in the rain is doing 47 to 56%. Uh, and with a helping hand, you're going to be doing 72%. So if that Zacian has taken any kind of chip damage, it's well within range of getting possibly KO'd by the Kingdra. And since a lot of Zacian aren't running play rough, or at least they weren't for the longest time, they're kind of running play rough now to beat Palkia. Um, you actually are guaranteed to live either a Sacred Sword or a Behemoth Blade for them. Clearly a close combat is not something that you want to take. It's not very comfortable. You could live it. Um, so defensively, Kingdra actually has a pretty good time versus uh, one of the most powerful Pokemon in the format. I just kind of put Solgaleo and Calyrex Ice on here as other examples of Pokemon that might want to have a rain mode on the team. Solgaleo, maybe it just wants Politoed and Kingdra because it helps out versus Groudon a little bit, or it gives you a little bit more of um defensive play against like trick room torkoal teams and calyrex ice i actually just put on there because like i said i'm running a trick room team and trick room teams really hate incineroar and calyrex ice especially really hates incineroar so one of my main goals when building uh my trick room team was actually putting a rain mode on there to absolutely stuff the incineroar lead absolutely stuff the landris incarnate lead so yeah uh those are just some thoughts i had about these pokemon obviously you know we have to look at the wider meta and figure out why I think they're so great. So the most common Pokemon in the format, Incineroar. Incineroar just gets absolutely bodied by this thing. Uh, clearly one shot by a Muddy Water in the rain. Rillaboom, probably the one that a lot of people are going to be most confused about. Like, what does this thing do versus Rillaboom? And I'd say that the matchup versus Rillaboom is very board dependent. You're obviously not going to one shot it, but uh, Rillaboom itself doesn't really comfortably take a Hurricane. As you can see, a Helping Handed Hurricane can do upwards of 95% to a bulkier Assault Vest or Laboom. Without the Helping Hand, you're going to be doing like 50% to that thing. But also defensively, you're not really in that bad of a position. Grassy Glide is going to be doing 56 to 66%, which at minus one, which it'll commonly be since you're likely going to want to have an Incineroar on your team or any kind of Intimidator. Grassy Glide is doing less than 50%. Woodhammer is never KOing you. And I think at neutral, Woodhammer also doesn't KO. I might be stupid. 
it does KO. It KOs 75% um, of the time. But still, uh, they're likely going to be clicking Grassy Glide to make sure they hit that Kingdra before it can attack. Uh, other Pokemon in the metagame that really hate Kingdra, Urshifu Rapid Strike has very little for Kingdra. You quad resist the Water Stab, and the close combat is not even going to come close to one-shotting you. We can actually take a look at that right now. Urshifu Rapid Strike, Picolytic Set, close combat is doing like 84%, where your Hurricane, because of that thing's super low special defense, is just always going to one-shot it if it's not Focus Sash. So if you're facing off against like... Um, even like bulkier versions of Urshifu Rapid Strike sets like the Mystic Water, uh, the Protective Pads, if you run into that, the non-Focus Sash sets, you're in a very good position to beat them with just the uh, Kingdra lead. Uh, obviously, Urshifu Dark doesn't like it. Amoongus is actually probably one of the more annoying ones. Um, Amoongus typically will run either a Focus Sash or even like the flying type berry to help eat the hit a little bit better and you're not going to be one shotting with hurricane however with a helping hand you're going to be doing a pretty significant amount and with some chip damage you'll be uh, you'll be fine uh, other pokemon that we really need to take a look at stack attacka clearly one shot landris clearly one shot entei clearly one shot xerneas you're not going to be one shotting that thing but um but if you get it into the right position xerneas isn't going to be having a great time if we take a look at this, the Picolytic Xerneas set, actually that isn't really reflective of what Xerneas is running right now. It's typically mostly just like 4 HP. Um, you can see that Xerneas can pretty easily take a helping handed Muddy Water, but you can get them in a position where they're not very comfortable eating that at all. Uh, Zarina is going to be a little bit more annoying. Think about it like Rillaboom. Volcarona is one of the most common partners for Xerneas alongside Landorus and Incineroar because Xerneas hates facing Steel types. So if you're running this... Uh, if you're running this Politoed Kingdra core on your Steel type restricted team, you're not in a bad position versus that. You have a lot of options uh, versus a lot of common Xerneas partners that, you know, if you're running like Zacian plus Kingdra Politoed, most of the time they're going to be predicting you to lead off with Zacian because that's such a good matchup versus Xerneas, but you have that other option that just helps you out so much. Obviously, Landorus there and is making a bit of a comeback with the Rocky Helmet set. It doesn't like that. Nihiligo is one of the bulkier, um, one of the bulkier what am I thinking of? Um, Non-restricted Pokemon, at least on the special side. Uh, and obviously it's going to take the hit a bit better than other Pokemon, but it's still not going to appreciate the Helping Handed variant. You have a chance to, you know, KO it after a little bit of chip, but with Helping Hand, it's pretty much a guaranteed one shot, even on bulkier sets. So yeah, obviously, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of damage to, I guess that's the last one I should cover. Groudon. Let me look at Groudon. Groudon is picking up in usage. In the sun, you're not going to be doing too much, right? In the sun, your Muddy Water is going to be doing like 46% Helping Handed. So your Draco Meter actually has like a 50% chance to one-shot. However, it's much easier just to go ahead and set the rain up again. You have so much defensive play with the rain, you can slow down opposing Venusaur and then KO them with a Hurricane. Or you can just straight up one-shot a Groudon uh, with Muddy Water without Helping Handing it, leaving your Politoed to do a lot of other things. Speaking of Politoed, things that Politoed can do in the meta. I'm just going to throw this out here. Uh, the Politoed that I'm currently running is super special defensive, and it gives me a lot of leeway versus opposing Xerneas teams, because opposing Xerneas will typically be running like max special attack timid, right? Max special attack timid Xerneas at plus two with Moonblast is never going to be one-shotting this Politoed. As you can see, why is my Politoed not even getting close to being one-shot? What is this? Moonblast? Oh, that's at minus two, plus two. As you can see, I'm taking 98.9%. That allows me to haze away the uh, stat boost from the Politoed, or on the Xerneas. It'll also, you know, haze is just a generally very, very powerful move in this metagame, since uh, you have things like Calyrex Shadow Rider running around, which can spiral out of control with um, Grimnay, uh, versus things like Calyrex Ice. Not only can you resist the ice type moves and switch in on them comfortably, but you can also go for a burn or just completely reset their stats. Zacian Crown, if you don't have an Intimidator on your team, or if the Zacian Crown was like behind a substitute and went for a Swords Dance because it's one of those Zacians, you can still pretty comfortably probably just go for a Haze. It's such a powerful Pokemon with a lot of powerful tools at its disposal, and I can't really stop gushing about it. It's such a good Pokemon. So yeah, uh, my point in this video is I think that these two, Kingdra Politoed, while not the premier rain Pokemon in the metagame due to Kyogre's presence, uh, have a place in the metagame that isn't being utilized enough defensively or, is, or at least as a secondary option for a lot of uh, teams that hate facing sun or um, opposing fire types. They're really great and they deal a lot of damage to a lot of powerful Pokemon in this metagame, including Entei, Landorus, Incineroar, Stack Attacka. They deal with them so well and I've had a lot of fun using them. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, would you consider putting Polytoad Kingdra onto any of your teams? If so, what team would it be? Let me know and leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.